congratulations on receiving your Rise RX bike. Prior to opening, please inspect your box. If you do notice any damages, please take photos. This is to support any claims in the event the product was damaged from shipping. Now let's open up our box. Remove all zip ties and protective foam inside. Next, remove the wooden fork stand using a 10mm wrench. I like to hoist it onto a piece of foam so I can access it better. Now we can install the handlebars. Remove the four screws and plate pre-attached to the stem. Grab your handlebars and secure it with the plate using the same four screws. If you want to adjust the angle of the handlebars, you can do so by loosening the nut in front of the stem with a 5mm Allen key. Once you're satisfied with the positioning, you can re-tighten the bolts. Before tightening completely though, make sure to rotate your handlebars to your liking to lock in your riding position. All of this requires a 4mm Allen key. Moving on to our forks, remove the brake pad protector from the brake caliper. You will also need to remove the brake disc protector on the front wheel. Now we're ready to install the front tire. Grab your front wheel and raise the bike by the handlebars and fit the wheel into the fork making sure the brake disc is sitting between the brake pads. The fork will ultimately catch onto the wheel's axle. Locate your quick release axle and make sure it's in the correct orientation. The lever should be on the opposite side of the brake disc with the narrow portion of the springs facing inwards. Tighten the nut until the lever experiences adequate resistance and lock it in place. Next, let's put on our front fender. Remove the bolts and nut assembly using a 5mm Allen key for the bolts and a 10mm wrench for the rear nut. Then, slide the front fender tab in front of the fork connector and thread the bolt through, securing the assembly with the nut at the rear. To finish off our fender assembly, we will remove the two screws at the base of the forks, one on each side using a 3mm Allen key. This is where we'll secure the fender rods. If your primary battery isn't already in your battery compartment, you can do so by putting the heel in first, then snapping shut the top end right after. Hug the wheel with your thighs and center the handlebars. Tighten using a 5mm Allen key once complete. Another adjustment you can make is the angle of your handlebar stem. Using a 5mm Allen key, loosen the bolts in front of the handlebar to enable the tilting motion forward or back. Once you find the angle you're satisfied with, you can re-tighten the bolt to secure your position. Moving on to our pedals, identify the left and right as indicated on each. Failure to differentiate will cause pedals to ruin the threads in the crank arm where reinstallation will not be possible. Once that's understood, install the pedals by rotating them towards the front of the bike. In other words, the left pedal should be rotated counterclockwise and the right rotated clockwise. At the end, please tighten the pedals firmly with a wrench. If at any given moment you're struggling to thread the pedals in, please take it out and re-attempt as these pedals are made to be spun in with ease. After that, grab your seat post and slide it into the stem. Loosen the knob to adjust the height. Once satisfied, tighten the knob and lock your lever. Grab your chain slap guard and wrap it around the chain stay. Before you take off, peel off the plastic coverings on the motor vents. Last but not least, the tires need to be pumped. You can find the recommended tire pressure on the tire sidewall or in your owner's manual. Thank you guys so much for watching and enjoy the ride.